Price is right pricing game recap may contain profanity toward the contestants' decision making and pricing games that will be categorized as either stupid or being misled by the audience that's portrayed as a heel for entertainment purposes only. In reality, Mr. Horgan doesn't show any prejudice toward the contestants based on their gender, their ethnicity, and their intelligence. Viewer discretion is advised. Ladies and gentlemen, it's now time for the Price is Right Pricing Game Recap for Wednesday, the 23rd of January, 2013. Please excuse me if I sound a little scratchy or nasally, as I am currently battling a head cold. Here are the pricing games that were played today. One Away, Switch, Grand Game, One Wrong Price, Pathfinder, and Pushover. Stephanie, who sells diamonds for a living and is from Calamesa, California, was the first contestant. She played one away for a chance to win a 2013 Hyundai Sonata GLS modeled by the marvelous Manuela Arbelez. The wrong price was $31,842. The ravishing and pregnant Rachel Reynolds was in charge of changing the numbers. Stephanie chose the three to be a two and not a four, the one to be a two and not a zero, the eight to be a seven and not a nine, the four to be a five and not a three, and the two to be a three and not a one, making the new price $22,753. Almighty sound effects lady, did Stephanie have at least one number right? She sure did. Almighty sound effects lady, did Stephanie have at least two numbers right? She did have at least two numbers right. Almighty oh, sound effects lady, did Stephanie have at least three numbers right? No, she only had two numbers right. Stephanie chose the second two to be a zero, the seven to be a nine, and the three to be a one as her changes making the new price $20,951. I approved of her changing the 7 and the 3, but the second 2, not so much. Let's see if she won the car. Was the first number a 2? Yes, it was. Now, was that second number a 0? If it was, she would continue on finding out if she won the car or not. When the second number was revealed, it turned out to be a two. I knew it. And the last three numbers were nine, three, and one. The actual retail price was $22,931. So she had the first two numbers right, which were both twos. Melanie was the second contestant. She played Switch for a chance to win these two prizes. A trip to Denver, Colorado that included a five-night stay at the Denver Marriott City Center, plus a full-day guided tour that includes the Red Rocks Park, the Denver Art Museum, and many more attractions in Denver. That was modeled by Rachel. And a trip to Las Vegas, Nevada that included a five-night stay in a luxury hotel, including one dinner, tickets to a show, and a Hoover Dam tour with lunch, courtesy of Vegas.com, modeled by Manuela. The trip to Denver was priced at $4,934, and the trip to Vegas was priced at $5,816. Melanie chose to switch the prices. So Rachel brought the price of $4,934 over to Vegas. And Manuela brought the price of 5816 over to Denver. You ask me, I felt they should have been kept the way they were. Well, when Rachel and Manuela revealed the prices of the two trips, it turned out that Melanie was right to switch them. She won both trips totaling $10,750. Prove me wrong. Catherine.
Cameron from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, who is from New York Sandy Seven's home state, was the third contestant. She played Grand Game for a chance to win up to ten thousand dollars. As always in Grand Game, the contestant has to start off with just one dollar, and the target price today was a measly two dollars. Catherine first chose the 8-ounce can of Hunt's tomato sauce, and that was 79 cents. She went up to $10. Next, she chose the one-pound box of Arm & Hammer baking soda, and that was 99 cents. She went up to $100. Next, she chose the preserved toothbrush that is made from recycled yogurt cups, and that was 329, and the game was over. The other two grocery products that were less than $2 were the 1.4 ounce bar of Swap powdered deodorant at $1.59 and the six bottles of Kool-Aid grape flavored bursts. They were $1.49. And the 9 ounce canister or can of Fritos bean dip was $2.99. But for knowing that the tomato sauce and the baking soda were less than $2, Catherine won $100, and that's a consolation win on her behalf. Norma, who is a professional slot machine gambler, was the fourth contestant. She played one wrong price for a chance to win these three prizes. A 70-inch sharp LED HDTV that has built-in Wi-Fi and connected TV services such as Netflix, modeled by Rachel. A Honda CRF 70F off-road motorcycle that has a three-speed semi-speed automatic transmission, modeled by Manuela, and a zigzag accessories collection that includes three pairs of cotton and wool shoes, one scarf and one poncho, modeled by the awesome Amber Lancaster. <coughs> Norma believed that the off-road motorcycle was the one wrong price of 1960 and not the HDTV of $3,199 or the accessories at $1,820. When Manuela revealed the price of the off-road motorcycle, it turned out to be $1,960. Very familiar price to me. Well, she was wrong because that price was right. The one wrong price was the accessories collection by Amber, and that was $2,395, and that HDTV was, of course, $3,199. Jordan, spelled J-O-R-D-O-N, and is a male, was the fifth contestant. He played Pathfinder for a chance to win a 2013 Scion TC model by Amber. Jordan stepped on two, which was the first number. And Rachel modeled the three small prizes, which were a six-quart cast iron Dutch oven, Kate Spade sunglasses, and a set of five kitchen shears from KitchenAid, I believe. All right, Jordan first believed that the three in front of him was the second number and not the one behind him, the two on his right, or the zero on his left. Was three the second number? No, it was not. He first went to the Dutch oven, and he believed it was $50 and not $30. Rachel revealed the price to be $50. So now in his second attempt, he went to the one, and not the zero or the two. Was one the second number? No, it was not. Now he went to the Kate Spade sunglasses. He believed they were $178 and not $112. Rachel revealed the price to be $178. Now he went to the zero instead of the two, believing that was the second number. Was zero the second number? Yes. He got it right. Now, for the third number, he believed it was the seven in front of him and not the four on his left or the nine behind him. Was seven the third number? 
Yes, you got that right. Now on to the fourth number. He believed that it was the nine on his left and not the five in front of him or the three on his right. Was nine the fourth number? No, it was not. So, he had to get the price of the kitchen shears correct in order for him to keep on playing. He believed it was $28 and not $37. Rachel revealed the price to be... $37! And the game was over. The actual retail price was $20,738. Kathy, spelled with a K, was the sixth and last contestant. She played pushover for a chance to win. North Star Retro Appliances from Elmira Stoveworks. That include a 30-inch electric range with full-size self-cleaning oven and a top-mount refrigerator with ice maker and dual temperature control modeled by Amber. Her starting push price was $5,700. She pushed a second time, making the price $7,570. Then she pushed a third time to make the price $1,570. I believe that's what she she pushed it to. Was it one thousand actually it was one thousand seven fifty seven. Yeah, even though I am a little sick, I still gotta give myself the losing horns for that mistake. Anyway, Kathy pushed a fourth time when the price reached four thousand one hundred seventy five dollars and that's where she stopped so she pushed the total of four times with three blocks going over stopping at four thousand one hundred seventy five dollars when Drew revealed the actual retail price it turned out to be seven thousand five seventy she pushed two times too many Now on to the acknowledgments. According to Ben Mason, you know, Stephanie, the contestant who played one away at the top of the show, well, her last name is Price. That word has some significance to the name of this show, huh, Chief? Sure does. <laughs> Not a lot of people have the last name of Price. The only, uh, only person I'm familiar with that had the last name of Price was Vincent Price. God rest his soul. This is the fifth time trips were at stake in Switch. Rachel's seven months pregnant as of the tape date of this show. That's what came out of her mouth. Oh, that's what she mentioned in the first item of her bed. Of course, Neil Rock 87 is the biggest, I would say, the biggest fan of hers. Uh, the losing streak in the Walmart games now at nine. That's no surprise there. <laughs> You better believe it with these uh, low target prices Mike Richards has been posting as of late. Can you believe that Catherine decided to stay at 45 cents when she spin the wheel in the first half? This really happened. You never saw this before. Neither have I. Well, Catherine was using some strategy. Um, well, Stephanie did go over when she spun after Catherine. I think she got a dollar five total, if I'm not mistaken. And then Melanie beat Catherine with eighty cents. Who knows when the next time someone will stay on a forty-five cents? Maybe quite a while. Back to the announcements. Drew had a fake mustache during part of the second half. Now he knows how Alex Trebek feels. I never knew Alex Trebek had a fake mustache. I thought it was, I thought it was the real deal. 
pretty sure was the real deal back in the day when I watched uh, some classic game shows from him, including old episodes of Jeopardy and a revival of To Tell the Truth and classic concentration. Now, here's a little fact that wasn't part of Ben Mason's acknowledgments, but he wants me to... Well, he didn't really want me to acknowledge it, but he pointed this out. I think it should be brought up to all of you watching. In Pathfinder, if you get a do-over right, you win that small prize. He read about it on Wikipedia. So Jordan wins the $50 Dutch oven and the 178 sunglasses for prizes totaling $220. $228, excuse me. We mark that as a consolation win. So Switch was the only pricing game won today. We also gave away $100 in Grand Game, won by Catherine. And we also gave away the Dutch Oven and King Street Sunglasses in Pathfinder. And yeah, that's, that's it. Melanie is the MVP of The Price is Right. The contestant recognition contestants are Catherine for her small Grand Game win. Jordan for his two small prizes he won in Pathfinder. And to Norma for winning her showcase. That included a Gucci watch that has a bi-directional bezel with major world city inscriptions on the watch. A trip to London, England that included a six-night stay in a deluxe double room courtesy of the Apex City of London Hotel with daily breakfast and two dinners included. And a trip to Hong Kong that includes a six-night stay in a boot in a luxury boutique hotel. Plus a guided evening tour that includes dinner on a floating restaurant and a peak tram ride. All the prizes in that showcase were modeled by Rachel. Norma bid $18,750. The actual retail price was $22,576. For a difference of $3,826. She beat Melanie, the top winner, by $102 in her showcase that included a six-piece beach gear collection, his and her beach cruisers, and a Milan travel trailer. She bid $20,000. The actual retail price was Twenty-three thousand nine twenty-eight for a difference of three thousand nine hundred twenty-eight dollars. Some pretty close bids there, but Norma bid better, and she won a grand total of twenty-four thousand three hundred seventy-one dollars in prizes on today's show. Promotional consideration for the Price Is Right pricing and recap this week is provided by Cuisinart, makers of or maker or manufacturer of the classic waffle maker. Cuisinart, savor up the taste. So, Martin S5 1989 brought to my attention that he will not be doing any price game recaps for the rest of this week, even if bonus game gets played, due to, let's say, his personal opinion on Mike Richards' setups on the pricing games. So, I will be back tomorrow to do the recap, and I'm 264 Shirts actually going to join me as co-host. Friday, I won't be doing the recap. Sports Guy 528 will be because it'll mark the return of the gorgeous Gwendolyn Osborne. And Gwendolyn is Sports Guy 528's favorite Price is Right call. So, he'll end the week on Friday. So, this is Mr. Horgan reminding you to help control the pet population. Have your pets spayed or neutered. Good night, everyone. See you tomorrow.